Have you wondered why some average persons are able to advance their career rapidly? This could be due to their excellent communication skill. According to Harvard Business School, communication is one of the five most important aspects to advance your career, and presentation is the golden opportunity to demonstrate your capabilities and innovative ideas to your manager and those higher up in the chain. But crafting compelling slides can be daunting and time-consuming. No worry, with this AI tool, you will be able to create awesome and professional presentation slides in minutes that will impress your boss and turbocharge your career. Without further ado, let's dive into this powerful AI presentation tool, Gamma, that will boost your career. First, you need to sign up. It is free. Use your email account to register. If you use the link in my description below, you will receive additional 200 credits. After entering your email address, click Continue with email. Open the email, click on Verify your email address. Then this will bring you to Create your account web page. Enter your first name, last name, password, and click Continue. This will bring you to Create your workspace. If this is for your personal use, select Personal and click Continue. Then, under Tell us about yourself, select for Personal use. Under What kind of work do you do? Choose the one suit you the best from the drop-down menu and click continue. There are three options. You can create presentation, document, or web page. Select presentation. Gamma has a list of suggestions. If you have a particular topic in mind, you can input it here. For instance, if you want to present on the topic, what is chat GPT? Gamma will generate the outline for you. Isn't that amazing? Now let's delve into the outline. Gamma will start with an introduction to ChatGPT, then delve into the diverse applications of ChatGPT. Next, it will cover how ChatGPT works, then benefits of using ChatGPT, limitations, future developments, and conclusion. Looks great. I think the audience may be interested in the history of ChatGPT, so let's add this subtopics in. Once you're satisfied with the outline, just click Continue, and this will bring you to pick a theme. Let's select this one. As you can see, Gamma will generate amazing slides for you in seconds. There are more cool features I'm going to cover, especially the last one in this video. So please stay until the end. Let's start with AI editing. You can enhance the slides by asking AI to refine your editing. Let's use this slide as an example. Simply click the icon here. Gamma will provide you with helpful suggestions. If you wish to make the slide more concise, just select the slide, then click on Make this more concise. This will take a while. Okay, it is done. Let's compare the original version with the revised one. Original version ChatGPT is a computer program that uses AI to generate human-like text based on prompts. It was developed by OpenAI and has evolved significantly over time. Unlike traditional chatbots, which often have pre-written responses, ChatGPT generates unique responses each time. Let's look at revised version. ChatGPT is an AI program that generates unique human-like text in response to prompts. Developed by OpenAI, it has evolved over time. Indeed, the revised version is more concise while conveying the essential information. You can also ask AI to edit the text based on your requirement. For instance, make it for 12-year-old. As you can see, the AI revises the text to much simpler version. You can also make it for COO. As you can see, the revised version is more professional and yet not technical. That's awesome, right? You can use the AI editing tool to target your audience and make it more impactful. Next, let's look at how to insert captivating images into the slides. To insert the image, click Select Layout here, then click on the down arrow. From the drop-down menu, select Images with Text. This will change the format of the slide. To add image, click on the image icon. Then move to here to select where you want to upload the image. You can upload the image from your computer or a URL from website, from Unsplash Images, GIFs from Jiffy, or icons. Let's find the image from web. As this is talking about efficiency, let's find something related to efficiency. Once you find what you want, click on the image, and the image will be embedded into the slide immediately. Let's continue to finish the other two images. OK, this is done. This is the slide. It looks much better than before, isn't it? Next, let's try inserting background images into slides. To do this, click here. Then under background image, click edit. You can select the image from accent images and many other sources. Let's grab an image from the web. Since our conclusion is discussing about ChatGPT, 
we'll search for a chat GPT image as the background. Select the image that appeals to you and then click Done. Impressive. The image is now beautifully embedded into the background. You can also adjust the background image by clicking on Card Styling. Under the overlay effect, Choose Frosted will make the background image more unclear. Clear will make it more distinct. Faded strikes a good balance, not too clear and not to blur. You can also change the overlay color. Let's change it to black. The default setting is white. Next, let's change the slide format. You can alter the slide format according to your preference. For example, if you want to switch from the two boxes format to a bullet format, simply type change to large bullet list here and the slide will be transformed accordingly. This is very handy, doesn't it? Next, let's edit content in the slide. For instance, this timeline represents the history of ChatGPT development. If you want to add information about when OpenAI was founded, click on the content, then click the pluses sign here. Enter the information. As this timeline should be in the first position, I can drag it all the way to the left. Next, let's change the theme of the slide deck. You can change the theme by clicking the theme button here. Select the theme that you like. Let's select the dark theme. Click on it and the theme will change immediately. Then click done. Next, add slides as we don't have the title slide yet. So let's add one. Click on the slide here. Adding slide icon will appear. You will see three options. Add blank card, add card with AI and add from template. We just need a title slide. So I will add from template. There are many templates available, ranging from a simple blank card, title card, to more elaborate templates. For now, we'll choose the title card template. The slide is created instantly. Let's edit the title page. To change the font settings, click on the text, and you will see a three-dot icon here. Click on it, and a menu will appear. You're able to adjust the font size, font color, and more. Let's change the font size to a smaller one, Heading 4. To move the slide up, click here to access the table of contents. Click on the slide, then simply drag the slide up or down to the desired position. Once you have completed your slide and ready to present, click the present button here. This will activate the presentation mode. To move to next page, press the page down key or down arrow on your keyboard. To navigate to previous page, press the page up key or up arrow key. There is an option to present in the spotlight mode. To enable it, move your cursor to the upper right corner, click on the spotlight. In this mode, the presentation will highlight your current talking point and blur other texts, allowing emphasis on the key content. When you press the page down or down arrow key, the presentation will shift focus on next point. To exit the presentation mode, click the exit button here. To share your presentation to others, click share here. Then you can copy the link and send it to them. If you need to present your slides in PowerPoint format, click the export button here and then select export to PowerPoint. Let's take a look at the PowerPoint slides. As the export function is still under beta and may not be flawless, you may need to do some minor adjustments manually. Gamma can also create slides from your document. To do that, click on home here, then select create new. Choose Text Transform from the options. If you're interested in a video tutorial on this topic, please let me know by leaving a comment. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to help me reach broader audience. And see you in the next one.